gosh, um, God's people, I greet you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. As you can tell from my voice, I was just sitting down here and I was speaking with the Lord and having my quiet time. And the Lord Jesus Christ was speaking to me while I sat here with him and just talking with him. And the Lord Jesus Christ was so sad. He was so sad by his voice. He was weeping for the souls of men he died for. The Lord was weeping for the souls of men. And he said to me that time is running out. He said, time is running so fast. Yet his people cannot tell. He said to me that anybody who will call on him with, a, with their whole heart, that he's ready to answer them. Just at that moment, anybody who call on him with, with all their heart and say, Lord Jesus, come and save me. He said, he's ready. He's ready because time is running out. People of God, I beg you. I beg you in the name of the Lord. On that day when the trumpet was sound. On that day when Jesus Christ would come for his people. Do not be left behind. Do not be carried away by the things of the world. Do not be carried away. Do not conform to this world. It's getting harder. You need to fight. You need to pray all the time so that you don't sin against God. You need to pray with us, season. You need to pray. This is the time to go before God and to ask the Lord to keep you away from sin. Because it's just a little bit of time remaining. The Lord is, it will soon show up now and take his people. And the people he's going to take are those who are living holy for him. In holiness and in righteousness. With a pure heart. Only those who has a pure heart. And who has, a, who has an intimate relationship with him. If you don't have a relationship with Jesus, you're not going to go. If you're not living for him now, you're not going to go. You that is worrying about your school, don't worry again about it. You that's worrying, oh, how will my future be? What am I going to do for a living? He said you should not worry again about it because there's not a time to worry about that. Worry about your soul. <laughs> worry about your soul because everything here will be left behind. Will your soul see Jesus? Will your soul see Jesus? Will you be raptured? Are you ready? Are you ready? Keep your garments spotless. Keep yourself away from sin. Don't allow the word to please you. Those things that the Lord has delivered you from before. Don't go back to, you, to them. Do you see yourself enjoying those things that before you wouldn't like? Do you see yourself sitting down and just enjoying the word? Worldly entertainment. That before you wouldn't like when you first gave your life to the Lord. Why are you feeling now? Why are you falling now? Why? Why don't you hold on to the Lord? He will soon be here. Hold him tight. Hold on to the Lord tight because 
This is the end. This is the end hour now. This is the end time. The enemy's fight is so strong. He's doing all he can. Look at the media. He's doing all he can. If you have to delete your media, please delete it. If it's going to take you away from the Lord. I beg you, brethren. The Lord is sad. Those who are in the world, they are not coming to the Lord. Those who are already in the Lord, they are going back to the world. The Lord is sad. Please make it on the last day. Please. Please. <laughs>